In this video, I'm going to show you how to reverse safely using good clutch control and proper observation. I'll be reversing on the flat, down a hill and up a hill. So you will see three different ways in which you should manage your pedals depending on the hill. Let's start off here with some reversing on a flat surface. So I'm going to show you some reversing now um, doing the five point check. Um, but of course, firstly, I'm going to be looking around. So I'll go into reverse gear first of all, into reverse there now. Now before I go or move anywhere, I must give a full 360 degree look around, including mirrors and windows all around. I see there's a few cars and a few people, but nothing really near me. So a little bit of a bite, back I go then. Starting with the left shoulder, and just go for the three mirrors then, that's four. And then the last shoulder over here is five. And then back again, three mirrors and this shoulder, all the time taking it really slow with clutch control. So a little bit up to go and into slow, just tiny little movements with the clutch, that's all. Not, not revving, not accelerating, just gentle movements with the clutch for a slow and steady movement. So it's all about the five point check. So one shoulder, three mirrors, as you can see now, and the other shoulder, that's five. And the same on the way back, three mirrors and the two shoulders and just constantly keeping an eye on everything and the more I do my five point check the less blind spots I have so it's all about observation and keeping it slow and that's how we reverse so I'm just going to bring it to a stop now when I'm stopping the car with clutch control I go for the clutch in fully first and then just tap the brake and everything is all fine there so handbrake first and then neutral so now I'm going to show you about straightening up the wheel because a lot of um, inexperienced learner drivers can get a little bit confused and flustered um, with the wheel and they tend to go a little bit um, a little bit all, all over the place when reversing so I'm going to show you that now so I'm going to go into reverse gear and start reversing again looking around looks all clear now at the moment you'll notice that I'm turning a little bit to the right so you'll probably be able to see now that the front of the car here is just going to bring a little more there the front of the car is slightly facing this way, okay? So if the front of the car is slightly facing that way, you need to turn that same way, so that will be this way, there. And that then will help straighten up the car. You have to give it time to react though, you can't constantly steer um, in a hasty manner. So now it looks a bit straight there now, and then I can just get the wheel straight then. And then if I just turn this way then, deliberately, just to show you how to straighten up from the other side, you'll notice now that the car the front of the car that is, is starting to tilt a little bit more to the right. So you'll see there now, I'm just going to stop, the front of the car is this way. So because the front of the car is turned that way, I need then to turn the wheel that same way like that, okay? So I've turned the wheel a little right, and give the wheel time to react, and you'll notice then that it's going to come back now and be nice and straight. And I see it's fairly straight there now, so I just get the wheel straight. Of course, mainly looking behind me. You don't want to be looking out front too much. It's not about where you've come from, it's about where you're going when you're reversing. So, see there's two lads there, but they're all grand. And the wheel is nice and straight. So, just once again, just a little bit quicker. So the front of the car is coming a, bit, a little bit right there. So, because the front of the car is a bit right, I will just turn a little right. And you'll see there now that the car is going to straighten up nicely. And there we go. And I always try and finish with a nice straight wheel then when I'm uh, finishing reversing and there's a straight wheel there now so handbrake first finish up and then neutral now I'm going to reverse downhill um, so I really need to be using the brake here more so you don't be using clutch control when you're reversing downhill you have to let gravity do the work for you otherwise if you start accelerating and using clutch control going downhill the car will go too fast so I go into reverse gear anyway I give a good full look around first as always, just checking the surrounding areas for any children or cyclists, other road users. And my clutch is in fully now, fully in my clutches. And I'm on the brake firmly as well. So I have the handbrake down, so the car doesn't go straight away. Just one more look to be sure. Now I just have the clutch in fully, and I just let go of the brake slightly. So it's kind of like off the brake a little bit, and then on the brake. Off the brake to go, and on the brake to slow. So I'm really just using gravity to uh, let the car roll down the hill. So. Once again, the clutch is in fully, and I'm just kind of massaging on and off the brake just to regulate the speed going down the hill. When you're reversing downhill, you do not need to accelerate, and you do not need clutch control 
just let it roll down the hill technically it's coasting but it's good coasting because you're in more control it's not like coasting down a big steep hill in Turga it's uh, it's very controlled coasting so clutches in fully just on and off the brake and all the time doing the five point check the five point check being the two shoulders there's one shoulder and three mirrors and the other shoulder three plus two is five so and then I've just stopped then I'm going to clutch it in fully anyway and just bring it to a gentle stop and then handbrake first and then neutral now I'm going to show you how to reverse up the hill now this can be the most difficult reversing because you have to manage a mixture of acceleration and clutch control so I'll show you how it's done I'll talk you through how I do it so I look around first for any road users or any children or cyclists or anybody out around I go into reverse gear then now because I'm going up the hill I have to give it a little bit of juice okay about 14 or 15 revs is fine it's a fairly steep hill so it needs a bit of power there I get the bite then first of all okay so there's the first bite but then I have to get a little bit of an extra bite so the car doesn't roll forward so I'm gonna get a little bit of an extra strong bite now here it is there so you probably see that little tiny little little uh, dip down the car so I have the bite I have the second bite there now just double check again and I keep a little bit of revs and then the car is starting to move back very slowly so I'm just keeping the acceleration very consistent and very steady but what you must realize here is as well as doing the five point check I'm operating on the basis of very very gentle clutch control if I move the clutch too far up or too far down the car will will basically lose control so at the moment my clutch control is so subtle it's very very gentle so if I, if I was to bring the clutch up too high like this the car would go too fast and if I put the clutch in the car would roll forward so that's what I don't want I'll show you again so I get a little bit of acceleration get the first bite and then the second bite just there and I'm gonna keep the revs nice and steady so steady gentle revs and the clutch control is really really gentle very subtle movements with the clutch I'm looking around as I'm doing it just takes practice and you will perfect this because it is the most difficult part of reversing because it does take quite a bit of foot balance and then if I'm stopping then it's just a case of putting the clutch in first and a little bit of brake and handbrake and neutral so as you will have seen good safe reversing requires gentle clutch control good observation using the five point check and not oversteering as well for more control of the car's movements if you are reversing and you are unsure of your surroundings you should ask somebody to direct you from behind and if nobody is around to do that you should safely get out of your vehicle and check the surrounding areas for yourself always remember you must never reverse from a minor road onto a major road. So that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Up on screen there you will see some more videos that I've made recently and I will see you very soon for another driving lesson video.